Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the amazing Lancia Stratos. So the first thing we'll do is a front wheel over here. Try to draw nice and lightly. And a second wheel, one, two wheels further back. And then the base of the car, sort of halfway between the ground and the centre of the wheels. And then the front of the car, if you come halfway between the middle of the wheel and the top at the front, and then come forward another half a wheel, that point there is the nose of your car. Now we need a couple of long lines that are sort of almost straight, but not quite, they've got a slight bend in them. The first one will start here, go all the way back till it skims the top of this uh, back wheel. So just use the sweep of your arm to give it a slight bend. The next one, we need to go through a point about a third of a wheel higher than the back wheel. Again, starting there. Not my best one, but that'll do. Um, at the front, we can just add a slight straight section and then a slightly bending line that comes down to meet the uh, floor. At the back, we need a third, maybe a tiny bit more, maybe almost not quite as much as a half a wheel, but somewhere around there, um, for an overhang at the back. And again, we've got a slight overhanging straight section and then a curving bit that comes down to the floor. And there's our bottom half of the car. Then we need a curving front edge of the door. And for the pillar, if you come to this point here, kind of just about where the uh, waist hits the back wheel, that's we can put a very light A shape in there, or an H. Is it an H or an A? Something like that. So sort of symmetrical, and that will give us our pillar. So in front of that, we need a door that swoops down and is cut off at the bottom. And then for our front uh, windscreen pillar, we need to come about half a wheel further back from the front wheel, go up till you reach the top edge of the body, and that will be where the pillar goes. And then you can add a, a roof on top. Now for the side window, you need to just slide, uh, slope downwards slightly, and add a little corner here, and then from that point, swing down to go through the bottom of the pillar. That gives you that classic Stratos side window shape. And for the screen itself, you need to be not quite as far back as the back edge of the front wheel. Uh, forward a little bit from there and then you can add your screen. You might need to add a little bit of thickness to the top of the bonnet there. Although this car seems to be made of straight lines, it's actually got subtle curves everywhere as well. So now at the back here we can add that spoiler that wraps over the roof, so it's just kind of a rectangle, tapering one. And then after that point the roof drops down to meet the deck back here somewhere. And again you can thicken that up slightly because there will be a slight curve across this surface. And on there you can have those amazing louvers. And, uh, now we can add the floor, be a good thing to add. And any details that there are, so there's um, a big spoiler at the back, just kind of a triangle. And um, a door handle here, a rectangle, windscreen wiper. And now the important thing is to add some, um, some thickness to it, so we can show the wheel on the far side. Same at the back, and you could shade those in. So up to now, we've probably been pushing very lightly, but now we can start to press a bit more firmly. And show the shadow on the ground, maybe. There's a little um, reflector or indicator at the front there. And you could shade these black plastic parts slightly, just to make them stand out nicely. And there should be a, an exhaust at the back. And 
There's also a little cutout in here. And we probably see up into the roof slightly so you can that'll give a bit of thickness to the cabin. And then maybe the last thing we ought to add is to show that these wheel arches have got some width to them as well, just suggest those. And that's pretty much it, I think. There's your, that's your Stratos, quite a fun car to draw, I think. Let me know in the comments if there's a particular thing you'd like me to try next and I'll see if I can fit it in. Otherwise, have a good week and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.